Hello guys, my name is Engineer Steven Karume, Frontier Container Fabricators and we sell used shipping containers and we also do value addition. And today we are going to demonstrate these 40 feet refrigerated containers and how it works. Come on as I take you through. Very important, the container comes with very heavy rubber sealed doors to make sure that it is able to conceal all the temperature that we have consumed inside. Another very important feature is the heavily padded walls. They are able to insulate the container such that we cannot lose the temperature once we have attained our set temperature. Another thing that is also very evident in the refrigerated container is this groove. This groove has got two functions. Function number one is to allow cold air once it is blown by a refrigeration unit on the back side. It's able to, uh, to flow through the grooves to, into the goods and it's able to control the temperature to the set temperature. Another fun function that the groove has is that they are able to drain the water all the way to the outside of the container. Remember once you have frozen goods, as the temperature change and vary, some of the ices will melt and that water is usually drained through these groups. Behind this wall is where we have our refrigeration unit. And the most important thing is that this is where our cold air comes through. And then it is pumped through to the grooves into the goods stored into the container. And then, as we know, hot air rises and the, and the cold air uh, is usually heavier and settles down. So what happens is that as we are cooling the product, the hot air is usually pushed up and then it is expelled through the top groove. Then, as a caution, you can see uh, the mark no cargo above that. That level tells you that that is the maximum that you can store goods up to. The reason is you don't want to choke the air that is being sucked outside into the container because that is the level at which that air is expelled. So when you're storing your goods, store them up to three inches below the ceiling of the container. Thank you. Now next, I'm taking you to the refrigeration unit, explain how it works shortly. The whole of this is the refrigeration unit and it has a control panel. It has a display panel where you are able to set your temperatures that you want to maintain inside the container. And the set temperature will also be shown here. Then if there is any error or any communication that the machine is giving you, it will give you through here. Then another thing is that you have this uh, control panel for raising the temperatures and lowering the temperature. Here you're able to set the temperature at which you want to set. For milk, the temperature is different. For frozen goods, the temperature is different. This unit is able to do minus 30 degrees to positive 30 degrees. Depending on whatever you are storing, you can adjust the temperature to whatever set the temperature that you need. Then it comes with this electrical cable long enough to be connected to the power source. And remember that this unit uses three phase. And if you want to use a generator, you will need a generator that is 18 kV and above. Thank you and welcome. At Frontier Container, we will give you this unit at a very good price. Get in touch. Our number is down there. Kindly contact us and we will be able to give you a good refer that will serve you for a long, 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 long time. Thank you and welcome.